Always say your prayers. Why you keep stealing my shit? For my need to loaf, everybody, um, I have brown round in this bowl, and the only veggies I put in it is celery, onion, bell pepper, and yes, that's it. So I have one large onion, I have two different bell pepper, red and yellow, and I also have celery. So this is how I started off, and then I'm gonna mix it up, and then I'm gonna add the wet ingredients and the seasoning. Okay, now since I made, this is such a humongous ass freaking meatloaf. It's huge. It's, you're going to see how big it is. Since it's so big, I added three eggs, and now I'm going to add some Lipton onion soup mix. And then I'm going to add a whole can of Rotel juice and all. Okay, I mixed that all together and now we are going to add in some Italian breadcrumbs. I don't measure anything, you guys. I don't. Just pour. And then we're doing salting crackers as well. So I do both, Italian breadcrumbs and salting crackers. All right, we got that all mixed. My daughter used her very clean hands to mix everything with. So now we are continuing with our ingredients, people. We ain't done yet. All right, now, like I said, I don't measure anything. I just toss it in there. And um, with meatloaf, you really can't taste it before you bake it. That's the only thing. But anyways, I've been doing this for years, so this is probably just how I go. Okay, now I'm gonna add some ketchup. ketchup's in. I always add more ketchup on top right before I bake it, so that's um, probably good enough for right now. And then I'm going to add Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue. About that much. Then A1 steak sauce. Then Worcestershire sauce. Now, I'm gonna mix that together. Okay, so I ended up adding one more package of Lipton onion soup mix and some more ketchup and some more Italian breadcrumbs. So once we mixed it up together, um, it's all about consistency with meatloaf, whether it holds up or not. So you can tell if it's too wet or too dry. So you wanna add your dry ingredients if it's too wet and your wet ingredients if it's too dry. So this should be perfect now. And then I will show you what it looks like when we mix this together and put it in the oven. On 400 for, um, just depends on how thick you make yours. Some people make them flat, some people make them thick. So probably 400 for about an hour is what I'm gonna do. Okay, this is the final product. Not final, but before the oven. Look how beautiful that looks, guys. It's a Christmas loaf. <laughs> And it's very colorful and delicious. You guys must try. So we mixed everything very, very well, and then we formed it into a loaf. And I told you, this is freaking huge. And uh, my family eats on this for days, and they even make meatloaf sandwiches. They just, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to put some extra barbecue, A1, and ketchup on top, and then we're going to bake it in the oven. Now she's oven ready. So that's about 400 degrees for an hour. That's how long I do mine. But look how pretty you guys. Wait till you see this when it's done. Okay, we have just canned peas here. And I just put butter, salt, and pepper. And that's it, and they're delicious. And then we got some corn on the cob, boiled and ready. And then here's homemade mashed potatoes. I just boiled some potatoes and then mashed them up and I put butter, milk, salt, pepper, and that's about it. And I'm going to put hot 
brown gravy on top. So, I'll show you the meatloaf. Here's the meatloaf, everybody. Look how delicious that looks. I just got an oven. I just drained off the yummy juices. And I forgot to mention that I covered this first, cooked it covered um, on 400 for about 45 minutes. And then the last 15, 20 minutes, I uncovered it. So this is it. It is beyond delicious. And then we got the mashed potatoes and we got the Hawaiian sweet rolls and the corn and the peas are over there and I'm about to make the brown gravy. Okay, see you for the mukbang. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, everybody. Today on the menu, as you saw, we have homemade a meatloaf and gravy, mashed potatoes and gravy, corn on the cob, and dinner rolls these are actually hawaiian sweet rolls and then peas but i want to give you so freaking good a big old close-up on that okay and i'm tired it's cooking and then doing a mukbang is very exhausting okay i'm gonna pray thank you father for this food bless this food and sanctify it by your word in jesus name i pray amen and always say your prayers. <gasps> okay, mic check, light check, dinner check, check, check. <sighs> Towel. And yeah. Okay. And I'm very hungry and I'm very excited to get into it. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the cooking portion of this meatloaf and um, meatloaf dinner. <laughs> I didn't show the peas. My God, I just opened up peas. Butter, salt, and pepper. That was it. These already came pre-packaged. I showed you how to make the meatloaf. The gravy is the, the packets, the um, McCormick brown gravy. That's all it was. And corn on the cob. And then, of course, you boil potatoes and mash them up. Milk, butter, salt, and pepper. That's it. So, I'm ready. Mm, I love lots of veggies in my meatloaf. I showed you onion, bell pepper, celery. Mm. It's so dang good. <laughs> my husband. <laughs> <clears throat> he loves my meatloaf. He had like three helpings. I was like, oh. Huh. Mm. There's like a million different recipes for meatloaf out there. You can literally do anything to it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mashed potato gravy. Oh my god. I was craving something homemade really bad. And you guys know we did our Thanksgiving early, so we did it a week and a half ago. Because I know tomorrow's Thanksgiving. So um, happy Thanksgiving to every one of you and your families. And stay safe, blessed, and have a wonderful Thanksgiving to you all. And my Thanksgiving blog and the cooking portion is coming up soon. It's going to be one of those... Um, <clears throat> From my my mom's kitchen to your to my kitchen to your kitchen kind of thing she's doing um also we did cooking vlog here at my house and then she's doing one at her house and then she's sending me the footage and then i'm gonna upload it <gasps> uh, 
You got my poo. Mmm. So I have all of that, all the recipes, everything, the cooking, the vlogging, everything is coming up for you guys. And I hope you enjoy it. Do you guys like peas? Mm. I love them. I was talking to my mom earlier and I'm like, what do you, I said, I'm going to do meatloaf, mom. I said, what do you think I should do with it? Should I do a loaded baked potato or mashed potatoes and gravy? Mm. Mm -mm. She's like, you always have a loaded baked potato. Do mashed potatoes and gravy. I said, okay. Mm -mm. My husband, I'm probably going to hear him. I was out shopping, doing errands all day today. And <clears throat> my hair got so, I got drenched like 10 times. I was so annoyed. I was laughing though, because you know when I get annoyed or aggravated or embarrassed or something shocking to me, I laugh. I was just laughing. I had my glasses on, so everywhere I went, I couldn't see. I can't see without them far away, so I had to have them. Oh, so irritating. The Hawaiian suit roll is so good. I got my nails done. It's called the Grinch. <laughs> mm. Christmassy. has gravy all over it see it's still steaming do you see the steam mm. I'm so freaking excited. I can't take it. I worked my butt off today for you guys. <laughs> I did. I was shopping all day, running errands, and then I had to come home. I cooked this huge meal. It was huge. There's so much in there. And then <clears throat> I have somebody flying in to see me, you guys. They're flying in and I have to pick them up tomorrow and they're gonna do the one chip challenge with me. Remember how I told you guys? <laughs> mm. 
So I had to clean my house. <laughs> that corn choked me. Not like that. I mean, my house is, is pretty much picked up, you know. But I had to clean, clean. Because, you know, when company comes, mm -mm. Mm-hmm. Crazy. They're just like, okay, I'll do it with you. I'm coming. What? I don't want to do it with myself. I'm scared to death. My husband won't do shit with me anymore. So, mm -hmm. this meatloaf is so dang good. Some people don't like their meatloaf um, with veggies in it. They just like the meat. Not me. Mm -mm -mm. My husband goes, this is why we're all fat in this house. <clears throat> because you're cooking. I said, excuse me? And he goes, I mean, uh, that's why I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> and like my like <laughs> and like the kids were like looking at him like <sighs> no look at that Also, I have mm, the person who's doing the one ship challenge with me. A few days, and they're going to do the don't wipe your mouth challenge with me, too. <laughs> It's so fun. I cannot wait. <clears throat> it's not going to be a long mukbang or a story time or anything like that only because I'm in a rush guys but I wanted to film all this for you and I wanted to eat this with you excuse me excuse me That is fun. Mm. 
Mm. So I was originally just going to do this mukbang, just like this. And then my husband's like, um, he's like, aren't you going to film the cooking? I said, mm, if I do that, it's going to take longer. And it's going to be like, ugh, I already have so much to do. I said, you know what? They're, if I don't, they're going to want, you know, ask me for the recipe. And I'm like, you're right. So I did it for you guys. I was just like, I'm going to get in there, I'm going to cook the dinner, and I'm going to eat it. Well, who guys? And then, while I was cooking, my husband was just like, you, you should be filming that. Why aren't you filming that? And I'm like, you're right, I know. Look. Mm. I have two windows right there and they go out to the I have corn all in my teeth too these two windows face the street and my cat has messed up the blinds. So, mmm, look at all that gravy on that. So there's like some, you know, parts missing to the blind and like, I feel like <gasps> it's creepy. People are looking in here or something. <sighs> If you want a cat, do not get blinds. Don't do it. <clears throat> it's impossible to own a cat and have blinds. Possible. There's just something so delicious about mashed potatoes and gravy. Mm-hmm. And meatloaf. What the heck? <laughs> I left the meatloaf out. I cannot handle spice. I can't. That one chip challenge is going to. <gasps> that's going to be the um, the end of me. So. You guys, um, <laughs> when you watch that. Well, if it never gets uploaded, you know what happened. <laughs> you know, uh, it took me out. <laughs> but if it gets uploaded, then. You know I survived it. We shall see. Mm. The onion, celery, and bell pepper in here. You know how when you cook and you're like, 
cooking up a storm in the kitchen and you're so hungry and of course you have to taste everything as you're going along because that's what a cook does yeah well <laughs> so that's why the cook never like eats dinner with the family or once they're done cooking they're like oh I I'm gonna eat in a minute sorry I have corner tea is because the cook samples as they as they cook so they're tasting everything everything so by the time they're done cooking they're like i just i already ate dinner <laughs> it's true and so i was so hungry when i was cooking all this i'm trying to taste the meatloaf but after <laughs> After it comes out of the oven, you take a little piece off and you bite it, and then you're like, "Oh, that tastes like shit." Or you're, or you'll be like, "Oh my god, that's delicious." So then you can do something if you need to, or you don't need to do anything and it's perfect. So I had a few bites of the meatloaf because it was so good <laughs> um, when it came out, and then of course I sampled like you know, mashed potatoes. I had a couple of rolls. So. <laughs> My husband goes, stop eating. <laughs> you, have to, you have to get in there and do a video. I'm gonna shut up. I'm hungry. You guys told me um my last video when i said costco was so busy <sighs> see you guys you guys tell me what's up you guys tell me you know why things are and stuff like that because sometimes i'm oblivious but you're right you guys are like um hello it's like the weekend before thanksgiving <laughs> um mm. the week not weekend very true. And that's exactly why it was so crowded. And I didn't even think about that. Whew. Non game pool. I forgot to show you guys um, when I made the meatloaf <clears throat> that I added. I don't know. I was just so scatterbrained because I have so much to do, but I forgot to show that I added garlic salt, pepper, and onion powder along with what I showed you in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I smell amazing in my house. What well, else is cooking? I can't do any more. This is the last bite. I'm done. So good though. So I have the one chip challenge coming next. Excuse me. And then I have the uh, 
Don't want to be my church. <clears throat> and my Thanksgiving videos. And. Mmm. So good. I am really full, you guys. So. That was delicious. I was craving, craving meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and gravy. Oh God, I can't. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I run away pee. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, cooking, cook and eat with me. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, fabulous, awesome Thanksgiving with your family. I hope you have great food to eat and, um, you know, love one another and be thankful for what you got. And if you don't have a lot, still be thankful for what you got because I'm thankful for everything. Um, and, <clears throat> uh, what was I going to say? Uh, I was talking to really quick, a friend earlier and, um, I haven't talked to her in a while, but she was like, you know, I don't really have much and I don't have this and I don't have that. And this has happened to me and that's happened to me. And, you know, I really thank you for talking to me and the stuff like, you know, the conversation went on and, um, Oh, God. She's like, but you know what? I may not have this. I may not have that. I may not look this way or look that way, but I'm thankful for what I have and I'm thankful for who I am and I'm thankful that I still have air in my lungs and I'm still living. And I said, exact, you are so exactly correct. I said, that's why Thanksgiving is so important. Um, of course, it's all about family, but it's also about giving thanks, you know, for what you have. Don't focus on what you don't have. Focus on what, what you have. And because um, I told my friend that, she, you know, she was kind of getting emotional. She was like, this is why I love you so much. Thank you for talking to me. But um, I said, you know what? Just remember, just when you think you have it bad or hard, just always remember someone else somewhere has it worse than you. Has it... Um, worse off than you has it worse than you so that's something that always got me through everything i went through there's always somebody out there who has it worse trust me it's true so when i would go through my hard times i'd be like you know i'm feeling this way but someone out there is having it worse than me so yeah the suffering you go through or the heartache you go through or anything like that. Someone somewhere is way worse than you. <sighs> anyway, so that's why I always be thankful and grateful, you guys, for what you have, not what you don't have. And it's just, yeah, it just makes everything better. Trust me. <laughs> Okay, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching and, and loving me and supporting me. And I love you guys so much. And I'm super excited about my videos coming up, my challenges with my secret guest that are flying in tomorrow. So I will see you on the next video. Okay, I love you guys. Bye. Oh, and happy Thanksgiving. I know I already said that, but again, happy Thanksgiving. Whew.